Okay guys, so today we're doing a garage slab and wall in the same four. So we have our location. It's that stake on the far left. And the stake right there roughly, right in front of us. We have the laser to give us our top of slab. I'm in a I'm in the E32 today. The 337 won't fit because of the way they put the plywood fence up. So, we're going to pour these steps and this porch top. I had them frame this plywood wall, so this will bring this up and we could fill all this in with dirt. The red line is the height. This is going to be a rough cement finish. They're going to cap this with uh, limestone and cultured stone. So you see in every step we drill rebar and bend it this way the rebar helps hold the step in place and we're going to run bars long ways all the way across here so I'm just going to take the 337 and fill it in with this dirt hey, 
No le des así. No le des así. Dale. Come on, Johnny. Teach the people at home. Mete en así. Derecho. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Sí, pero que todo lo que es, todo lo que es. Y después vamos a dar para acá, para acá, para acá. ¿Entiendes? Todo lo que es. Indian choke. Got a choke, it's cold. Go ahead, push. Push. Wait. Okay, now you can put it to run. Okay, go ahead. Uno más. Okay, let it warm up. Come on, no mama's way. We're getting ready to dig for the footing. We've set up the two by sixes around. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a what they call a trench pour with the slab. So it's all going to be one pour. We're going to have to put a little wall in the back where he's standing. That's what he's going to frame now. So the slab is the top of the two by six. And that small wall that we're putting in the back is going to be the top of the two by ten. Because the neighbor's grade back there is a little bit higher and they have the string rung here string run that's the stake five feet off so basically what I'm gonna do is I have the one foot bucket on the E32 and I'm just gonna dig along the two by six three feet down below frost all the way around so from this point all the way around all the back coming down this way I'm gonna stop gonna pour concrete and then in between cement trucks, I'll just trench along the front because then the machine can't get in there any longer. Okay, so let's get to it.
Pick on someone your own size. Oh, you want to do the floor on the walls? Then I got to dig the front. Anchor bolts are in the bathroom. Outside? Yeah, we gotta put them everywhere. Except in the front, you know, that's yeah. the garage. Alright, guys, so we're done here. With this slab, we still are waiting for one more truck for the front steps. Got a little bit of dirt left over. Got some garbage in that back section. But I graded the yard pretty good. Got some stone from the front, saved it here in the back. What we had to do over here was, cut your anchor bolts in, so they could frame on top. And we had to set this wall, or over here and what this wall is going to do is hold back the neighbors dirt here once uh, they backfill this with some dirt they might run a block or two here and here the only thing was we couldn't really run a return for this wall because the floor has to be finished nice this floor is a finished product and I didn't want to have stakes sticking in the ground I was able to do this kind of like a floating slab but if you look oh. The wall's pretty straight. It, it stayed pretty straight. It's got a little belly right there because we couldn't really put any stakes. Because you got to remember, I couldn't put a stake there because I had the three foot deep hole from the excavator digging the trench. So kind of had a lot of a lot of activity in one particular area. But everything else is fine. This is all fixed up nice. Anchor bolts are in place for the garage doors. So this is done here. There's a man in the window. <laughs> the machines are parked for tonight. My father's going to pick them up tomorrow. This was 4,000 PSI concrete. 